MySQL and Open Source Relational Database Management System based on structured Qli language runs on virtually all platforms including Linux, Unix and Windows. What is MySQL architecture? MySQL architecture consists of two main layer which is application layer and logical layer and maybe you wonder what is in application layer there are three main components in this layer first administrator the second one is client the third one is query user query user interact with mysql rdbms using mysql and administrator use various administrative interface and utilities like MySQL admin and PHP my admin. Client communicate with the MySQL RDBMS through various interface and utilities like the MySQL APIs. Now we move on to the logical layer. The logical layer of MySQL architecture is divided into various subsystems which are query processor, transaction management, recovery management, and storage management. The subsystem mentioned above work together to process the request issued to the MySQL database server. Query processor further consists of the following system embedded DML precompiler, DDL compiler, query parser, query preprocessor, security slash integration manager, query optimizer, and the execution engine. The output of one of the above component becomes the input for another. The query processor layer is scalable and evolvable. About the transaction management, it facilitates concurrent data access. It also provides locking facility and ensures multiple users slash sessions access data simultaneously in a consistent way. It also prevents data corruption or data damage. And last but not least, the lock manager is the subcomponent name that handles locking. In recovery management, there are lock manager and recovery manager. For the lock manager, it logs every operation executed in the database. It also stores the operations logs as MySQL commands. In case of system crash, executing these commands will bring back the, the database to its last stable state. Now we go to the recovery manager. Recovery manager is responsible for recovering the database to its last stable state. It also uses the logs created by the log manager. And last but not least, storage management. Storage management contains storage manager, buffer manager and resource manager. For the storage manager, it acts like an interface with the OS. Its main job is efficient data write to the disk. Storage manager writes to disk all of the data in the user tables indexes, logs, as well as the internal system data. For the buffer manager, it allocated memory resources. It also decides. And lastly, the resource manager accepts the request from the execution engine. It also requests the details from buffer manager. It actually receives references of data with memory from buffer manager and returns this data to the upper layer.